And good day everyone, welcome back to another video and this is a beekeeping video, this is the first one we finally have our bees uh, which is great, delighted to have them and it's not a full nuke now, it's more like about two or three frames of bees it's actually a late summer swarm so my job is to try to get them to build up during the last bit of summer to survive the winter so the last day when we moved it in, I completely forgot the video, I was just more concerned about getting the bees set up and I gave them sugar water and it's been about four or five days since then and I want to see where the sugar water is. Now it's a small hive of bees so I don't think they'll be all drank or finished yet so I haven't any with me today but I want to get, I didn't get a good look of the look at them, the frames, the, the last day so I want to see uh, is the queen laying? I want to see, can I see the eggs? And I really just want to get my hands on the bees just for a little bit and get in and out, take a look and start building up my experience with them, which is really what I'm here to do today. And if it turns out that they have drank all the sugar syrup, I can come tomorrow and bring them then. So really excited, first time to see my bees. There are more hives there. There are John's hives, that's the beekeeper that's helping me. He's not here today, but I'm sure you'll come across him in the video. Um, so his hives are beside mine, we won't be going near them today, we'll be just concentrating on my wee hive. So yeah, beekeeping. So you guys may be quick to notice that this is not the shiny new hive that I opened in the previous video. The beekeeper that gave me these bees very kindly gave me a lend of the box that they came in. And so now I'm just about to open the bees. So I'm just going to blow a little bit more smoke. At the entrance there. I'll lift the box off. Leave it down. So this video is shot from this angle from a camera mounted on a tripod behind me. But I've actually since got a GoPro chest mount so you will get a beekeeper's view of the bees in the upcoming videos. So I don't think they've drank any of the sugar water, which means something's obviously gone wrong there. So good thing we checked on them. The honey water honey water, the sugar syrup, and one of the questions that I'm sure is the first to be asked is why do beekeepers use a smoker? Well it effectively blinds the bees in the sense that they can't communicate with one another. And they do this by pheromones. So if they can't pick up any pheromones by their antenna due to the smoke then no alarm signals is being sent through the hive and it helps the bees stay calm. So this frame is slightly damaged, it's missing some wax foundation. But I'm leaving it down beside the hive so I've more room to work with, with the other frames. I did plan on talking throughout this inspection, but to be perfectly honest, I went on complete autopilot, as this is my first time with the bees and I'm still learning the trade. Mm. 
And here we have our bees. These bees seem really, really calm. And when hives are in their infancy, like this one, which on, with only a few bees, they tend to be not aggressive also. So I'm really liking my bees so far. This frame I'm about to take out is definitely the most developed frame. I did plan on showing the camera, but as you can see, I'm on complete autopilot at the moment, and I'm trying to find eggs or even catch sight of the queen. What I do see is some queen cells. Queen cells are cells made especially to make a queen, and it's uncapped, which means maybe a queen has been hatched. I also have to use the hive tool every time I want to lift a frame. The bees have them stuck in the hive. They do this by using propolis and it's a sticky substance that hardens quite considerably. And it's actually made up of the sticky stuff that you would find on young buds of uh, leaves in of trees. And as you look over my shoulder there, you'll be able to see some white comb and some black comb. And black comb is older comb that's been there quite a while. New comb is that white colored when it's freshly pulled out like that. You hear one angry bee there also. And notice at the top of the frame there's a little white band there. That's actually some capped comb and that is actually where they store some honey. So capped comb is they put a little cap on the comb when it's full of honey to keep it in. And they need to do this to build up stores to survive the winter. And as it is the beekeeper's job to try to exploit this behaviour in getting the bees to make more honey than they actually need. And here I'm trying to use the light to see can I see any more eggs. Eggs in their infancy are little tiny little things that look like really small grains of rice. And I don't actually see any, but I am new to this and I really think it's more to do with me not seeing them than them not being there. And watch on this frame where the wax has been starting to be pulled out on the left hand side but is still at the foundation stage on the right. And I'm using this last puff of smoke 
that try to encourage the bees to go down into the hive as I put it back together. This will help prevent as little casualties as possible, as if they go down into the hive, there's no bees being squished by the frames or even when the lid and roof gets put on. And I see here why the sugar syrup wasn't being fed on. You'll see me lifting a cup in a moment. And that cup actually had created a little bit of a vacuum and wasn't letting any sugar syrup in. But you'll see me lift it here now. Along with saving a bee from the sugar syrup. And I pour a little bit of sugar syrup down as well to help encourage them to come up and try to find where this source of syrup is. And with that, we come to our end of our first beekeeping video. I really enjoyed uh, inspecting my bees. I found it really calming and quite therapeutic, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. And what's more, this seemed really well behaved. When I was practicing and helping John with other bees, I have had bees try to sting my gloves, etc. and try to get in at my face through the veil. But these guys weren't too concerned with my presence at all. And so in the next video, I have the chest mounts who are going to get really nice and close to the bees with me. So look forward to that and we will see you probably next week. Have a good one. Bye bye. And be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification to know when I upload to follow this journey.